Hunter Ray from Florida, Ed Carpenter from Indiana, Townsend Bell from California. One, two, and three. Coming back up to speed. Tell three wide going into one was not going to work. Three wide around here in an Indy car does not work ever. That's uh, I'm sorry. Nah, uh, I'm sorry. It was busy down there. I suspect they'll have words with each other. It's three wide, look like. Yeah. Three wide, time to tell three dead in the field. And Hinchcliffe just came from that concussion he had in the inaugural Grand Prix. I don't think anybody's really to blame in that. You have to go for these restarts. And we could see that every time we restart from here to the end of the race. Well, Ed Carpenter, James Hinchcliffe, and to their outside, Elio Castro Nevis. Check that Townsend Bell and then turn one went wrong. And amazingly, Townsend Bell made it through. And this is when the spotters will be telling him somebody's oh, high, somebody's outside, high. outside, outside, inside, out. Hang on, bud, hang on. Now with Ed Spotter, who told him that he was on the outside, last minute Hinchcliffe came on the inside. But as a driver, you also feel what's going on. Now we ride along with Elio Castroneves. You can see all the cars fan out. And to the surprise, there goes Hinchcliffe. Clear. A little bit bold. So high. And Elio makes a right decision to go to the bottom. But the one who really put the pressure on the two inside cars was Townsend Bell that had just a half a foot advantage to press them down in the lower part of the track and then they, they touched. And on the onboard look we had from Castro Nevis' car, I, I believe it was, we actually saw Townsend Bell and Carpenter make the slightest bit of contact before Carpenter and Hinchcliffe bounced off each other. And that forced Carpenter down just enough to connect with Hinchcliffe. And, and in one fell swoop, Townsend Bell uh, how do you say this? Removed two competitors that were behind him. It was a great move. Both of them right now are just seething when they're spinning. Look at this. Little bump, and I'm going to go around the outside. And that little bump that you feel makes you go towards the inside a bit more, plus a spotter telling him that he's got somebody in the high side, drives into the low side to make that contact with James Finchcliffe. Jamie, you have more? Well, Eddie, your assessment was very nice, shall we say, compared to Ed Carpenter's radio. Ed said, who was that? His team said it was Townsend Bell, and they had some words about it. Very frustrated, obviously, the two drivers involved, Hinchcliffe and Ed Carpenter, having words. Very frustrated. Both felt like they had cars to win this race today, and now their days are done with 23 laps to go. But you really can't blame Townsend Bell for trying that move. Well, the Californian finds himself up to second right now. Did he lose it down low? Nah, they went, dove in underneath, made it three wide, just did it. You had position on him. Oh, sh that was three wide. <laughs> yep, that was three wide. A good move. No, no caution flags through 149 laps today. And now a little rash of yellow fever has broken out. The intensity pick it up as we get closer to the 500-mile mark in Indianapolis. We're back to the Brickyard after this from your ABC station. Twenty-five laps to go.